Atletico maintain their lead at the top while Barca gate explodes. Buenos dias, people. Welcome to Café con Liga on a Tuesday morning. Lots of things to talk about today. Of course, the infamous Barca gate that's going on in Barcelona. Uh, Atletico Madrid winning and Real Madrid managing to just get a point last night. Let's start with, of course, the big headline, Barca gate. Uh, the police in Barcelona have arrested Bartomeu and three other directors of FC Barcelona with multiple allegations, including corruption, manipulation, and hiring an agency to criticize some players on social media and to improve the image of Bartomeu. Of course, we had a lot of knowledge about this, but it was never really proven. And I think it's not a coincidence that the police and the judicial system in Barcelona have chosen a time just before the elections for the new president FC Barcelona to do a big move. And again, another distraction for Barca off the field. We're gonna have to wait and see what's gonna happen if uh, in the end Bartomeu and the other top directors in the club are gonna actually serve a sentence or it's all gonna be forgotten. Uh, just like uh, what happened with the last president, Sandro Rossell. There was also lots of allegations against him but if I'm not mistaken, in the end, he was acquitted. But yes, we know that Bartomeu left a lot of mess after him. But on the field, Barca are doing well. They continue their unbeaten run in 2021. And on Saturday, took care of business at a very, very difficult place, Sevilla. We knew Sevilla was in a good run. They hadn't even considered a goal in La Liga for a few weeks now. Um, they beat Barcelona in the cup as well uh, two weeks ago, but Barca taking care of business. And Usman Dembele is one of the players that is a revelation this season. I think it's the first season that he's had an injury free run of, you know, a few months consistent play and it's paying off. Uh, he's scoring goals, you know, I think that's his seventh goal for the season in all tournaments. Uh, he's playing on the wing, he's playing sometimes even as a striker. Uh, just like the first goal against Sevilla, he was in that striker position and Messi found him with a great through ball. Uh, Messi himself finishing another chance in the second half and Sevilla looking really toothless and really worried uh, how they're going to look in midweek. As you know, the rematch for the Copa del Rey semi-final is going to be played at the Camp Nou. Sevilla has a 2-0 lead, but I think confidence will be low now after those losses, of course, in the Champions League and now in La Liga. Uh, but let's see what happens. Atletico Madrid finally managing to stop their bad run of form and win uh, away at Villarreal. 2-0 uh, the scoreline, but it was so difficult for Atletico Madrid. They had to suffer, especially in the second half. I mean, it was basically uh, a Villarreal bombarding Atletico Madrid. I don't know how they didn't score a goal in this game. It was all black. It was the, the post. Uh, it was a few block shots in the box. Uh, Villarreal should be, of course, very disappointed that they didn't take anything from this game and it's becoming something of a trend now that Unai Emery is finding it difficult against the top teams and um, that might cost him not only uh, Villarreal not being able to fight for the Champions League spots but dropping out of Europe uh, as a whole. Uh, so let's see what Villarreal do but Atletico finally uh, managed to get three points and of course Restore a little bit of confidence uh, before the Madrid derby this weekend. And speaking of Madrid derby, Real Madrid dropped some points last night. 1-1 only against Real Sociedad. A great game, I have to say. I, had, I don't remember a La Liga game in a long time that was so high paced. Uh, both teams were just attacking, went for the, for the win. First Porto scoring with an amazing header. And uh, from then on, it was basically all Real Madrid on one goal trying to score. I think they had something like 10 corners in this game. Uh, finally managing to get the equalizer very late on with Vinicius Jr. scoring a goal in his 100th game for Real Madrid. And maybe feeling a little bit of two lost points because of the way they perform in the second half. But again, when Benzema isn't there, Real Madrid is gonna struggle to score goals and they're hoping that they're gonna be able to have him back on Sunday in the Madrid derby against Atletico Madrid at the Wanda. Uh, they're also hoping that um, players like Valverde and Rodrigo Goes will be back full uh, in full fitness. But of course, a huge game 
on Sunday. Real Madrid will be looking to do the double against Atleti and get within two points uh, of them with the game in hand that Atletico Madrid will be playing in a week. Some of the other games in La Liga, Getafe managing to get a convincing win finally and stop their bad run of form. Granada also, another win for them, even though they've been playing midweek in the Europa League and successfully managing to go through to the next round, missing a lot of their players, they still get those wins in La Liga. Brown Betis, another win for them, an amazing 2021 for Pellegrini and Betis who are sitting comfortably in the Europa League spot at the moment. And Levante Athletic Club finished 1-1 just before their semi-final game in the Copa del Rey. Next week, as we said, the big Madrid derby at the Wanda Metropolitano on Sunday at 4.15. Barcelona also traveling to Osasuna, where they will be looking to get those three points and get closer to both Madrid teams. And a regional derby as Valencia are hosting Villarreal. Stay tuned to Café Con Liga. We're going to be talking more Spanish football next Monday. Ciao.